bit of news in the world of um of Coast Guard history. Um, Olivia Hooker, who was the first African American woman to serve in the Coast Guard, has died. She was one hundred and three, old um, due to old age. She was an American psychologist and professor. She was also a survivor of the Tulsa Race Massacre. I'm not sure what the hell that is. She was the first African American woman to enter the U.S. Coast Guard in February of forty-five, and she served a year before her unit was disbanded. Um, she became something called a SPAR, which is a member of the U.S. United States Coast Guard Women's Reserve, and SPAR stands for Semper Paratus, Always Ready, which is what it stands for, earned the rank of Yemen, which is a second class during her service. She served in the Coast Guard until her unit was disbanded in, in, in the middle of the 1946 year, and then after that, she went on to become a psychologist and professor at Fordham University. She was active in, in being a professor from 1947 until her death. She was born in, um, since she grew up during racist times, um, she lived in a, she lived in an area where Ku Klux Klan, where the Ku Klux Klan activity, um, was active, and they ransacked her home during the Tulsa massacre of, of, Wall, of, of Black Wall Street in 1921. Um, she was born in Muskogee, in Muskogee, Oklahoma, on February 12th of 1915. Um, she um when when the when the Ku, when 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 the Ku Klux Klan ransacked her home, she hid underneath the table with, with her um siblings, until they left. Hooker later was a founder of the Tulsa riot, of the Tulsa Race Riot Commission in hopes of de- of demanding reparations for the riots survivors. Um, in two thousand three, when she was um. When she was 88, she was among survivors of the riot to file an unsuccessful federal lawsuit seeking reparation for this. When she was 22, her, um, her family, after the riots happened, Hooker's family moved to um, Columbus, Ohio, where she earned her bachelor's degree from Ohio State University. She was a member of the Delta Sigma Theta um, sorority, where she advocated for African American women to be admitted into the Navy. Ten years later, at the age of 32, she received her master's degree from Columbia University. And in 1961, she received her Ph.D. in psychology from the University of Rochester. She applied for the for women to be accepted for volunteer emergency service, which is known as WAVES, in the U.S. Navy. But she was rejected because she was black. She disputed the rejection due to a technicality, and Hooker was accepted. After after, be, after being rejected from the Navy, she had already um, decided to join the Coast Guard, which they allowed her to be in. She entered the U.S. Coast Guard in February of 45, and then on March 9, 1945, she did the six-week training course in Manhattan Beach, um, Brooklyn, New York, where, she, where, where Coast Guard Women's Reserve, also referred to as SPARS, had to, had to attend a class to be able to pass on um, to pass examination. She was one of only five African American women to be in the class. After be after her unit was disbanded in nineteen forty six, she went on to become a teacher and become a psychologist. I hate psychology, so Hooker retired from active life at the age of 87. She um, she joined the Coast Guard Auxiliary at the age of 95 and served as a volunteer in, in Yonkers, New York. She had received a whole bunch of um, different awards. Um, she received the American Psychological Association Award in 2011, and then she was inducted into the New York State Senate Veterans Hall of Fame in 2012. Didn't even know they had something like that. Um, um, on February 9th of 2015, Kirsten Gillibrand spoke to Congress to pay tribute to, pay tribute to Hooker. In the same year, the Olivia Hooker Dining Facility on the Staten Island Coast Guard Facility was named in her honor. And then a training facility in Washington, D.C. was also named after her. 
on May 20th, 2015, when Barack Obama was president, he paid tribute to him, Hooker. And then in 2018 of this year, just a couple weeks, just a couple weeks ago before she died, Google honored her. Google honored her by telling her story as part of a Google Doodle for the Veterans Day holiday.